Hey guys, welcome back to Pouring My Art Out. We are going to try to finish this one tonight. This is the makeup brush one, and I did pour some of the purple in here. Same as this, because it was left over and I thought it would be pretty. So, what I'm going to do is fill it the rest of the way up with black. I'm going to use my wonderful black pigment paste which I absolutely love. It's always so shiny and so pretty. All right, we're gonna use a pretty good amount because this is nearly six ounces in here. Get that mixed up. And there is micro bubbles. I did not let this heat up or much of anything. But I'm not really afraid of the micro bubbles because you're not going to see them. And since this one really doesn't have any sharp corners or anything, they're not going to get stuck either. But I will spray anyway. I'm gonna, hopefully I have enough to fill this little brooch up because I'd love to adhere it to this makeup brush, artist brushes, pencils, you name it. It's kind of like a whatever put in there. Anything that'll fit can go in there. Make sure this is really good and mixed. I do have a little bit of extra resin just in case this is enough, is not enough. Uh, I'm hoping it is because I have another project I need to finish for tonight. Actually, two. Small one and a larger one. Grab some handy dandy baby wipes. You can never have enough of those. Go through those like crazy, you guys. Like crazy. I use just um, the Huggies. Simply Clean. It's like 250 for 64 of them. Which isn't bad, but when you go through them like I do, it, it adds up. It really, really does. Okay, let's get rid of this. Give this a nice little spray. Okay, here we go. I don't know if this is going to be enough or not. I'm thinking it will be. But dreamers can dream, can't they? I'm thinking it's going to be enough, guys. I'm so happy. Happy, happy, happy. Get it. At least one project done. I do want to dome this because I really don't want to have to file and all that stuff. Although, you know, it does shrink just a little bit. Okay. We are doming. Spray it real good. Spray this little guy real good. Push them around and fill him up. All right. Pretty amazing. There's a little bit left, but not much to really do anything with. 
So there you have it. I'm just going to spray these, keep an eye on them. Make sure nothing traumatic happens. And uh, we'll see you later on tonight for the demolding. See you soon. Hey guys, welcome back to Pouring My Art Out. My little makeup brush, pen holder. Put whatever you want to in it. Little thing has cured. And my little brooch has cured. I just did the brooch in black. Because I think I will do some little silver chrome painting on this. That look how gorgeous you see that i love this mold i got it from into resin well worth the money i've used it a thousand times and it's still very sparkly all right now for this guy i think it's going to be fairly easy to demold i don't know it's my first time using this one a little trimming to do, but not a whole lot. Yeah, just a little. Just around the edge here. I know I'm not the only one that does this. As soon as I see something, I've got to pick it off or take care of it, or it drives me crazy. Okay. We'll do. Now, the bottom of this I did in purple. That was uh, leftover resin from the little uh, light that I did, the lamp for my friend. Okay, so it possibly is a little more difficult than I thought. Because <laughs> each one of these has the hole, so I gotta get those holes out, I guess, first to get the big one out. Oh, wow. You really got to be strong to do resin, you guys. Okay. Ugh, come on. There we go. There. All right. I'm not looking at it yet. Don't look. I get this mold back in the right place. Always put your molds back where they belong because they can bend and scratch and come out of place. And that is really pretty. Can you guys see that? Ooh, and look what we can do here. Brushes, we can do all our art supplies. That is really nifty and handy dandy, you guys. Handy dandy. It's an old school word for you. I see no bubbles at all. None. It's awesome. Really awesome. And there's, of course, the inside. But yeah, it's just a very light purple. In the camera, it looks clear, but it's like a very light purple. All right. I'm going to bling this up, and I will be right back. Show you finished pictures. Hello. Welcome back. Well, I blinged up the star, and I put silver on the tips, which makes it look really pretty. But then I started going, hmm, no, hmm, no, no. I put silver around the top of this holder, and, you know, I, th I think I'm calling that done. I don't think I'm going to do anything like that. Um, 
because it's gorgeous like it is. I just think it's really pretty just like it is. I am going to be making some more of these. Um, if you guys make and sell your resin, get this mold. Everyone needs one. All right. Thanks for watching. I will see you soon.